yogis, Kirsty here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a slow burn and tone vinyasa. So it's going to be a little slower pace than some of my normal power flows, but don't worry, you are still going to get a killer workout in. We are going to be moving through these postures a little slower with a little more intent behind building strength and isolating our muscles. Really focusing on our breath today and taking your time with whatever you need. Take breaks when you need it as well. Before we dive in, guys, make sure to subscribe and comment below. It really helps my channel grow. Let's jump in, starting in a child's pose. So we'll begin at the back of our mat with our toes to touch and our knees wide. Walk your fingertips forward, belly between your thighs, and rest your forehead down. Just taking a few moments to get settled in here, guys. Really just letting your day drift away. Just begin to notice how you're feeling, any areas of tension, of tightness. And then just dropping into that why, that why behind you stepping on your mat today. As you start to hone in on your breath, watching the inhales and exhales flow in and out of your lungs, let's take a full breath in and expand all the way. Open mouth to exhale, audibly sigh it out. Once more, just like that, a full expansive breath in Open mouth to release anything stopping you from getting everything out of this practice. Starting to breathe in and out of your nose here are Ujjayi Pranayama. Finding a slight constriction in the back of your throat, creating a vibrational rhythmic breath that will guide you through practice. Slowly walk your hands over to the left and bring your right palm on top of the left. Stretch through the right side body. Journey your hands back through center and over to the right, left palm on top of the right. Hands back through center and then slowly into a tabletop, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. A few rounds of cat cow here. Breath in to drop your belly. Breath out to round through your spine. Starting to connect the quality of your breath with your movement, exaggerating that openness and then that compression on the exhales. Inhale. Go ahead and meet me in neutral here. From here, tuck your toes under and lift your knees two inches off of the earth. Coming into an elevated tabletop, you're gonna feel your muscles begin to turn on as you breathe here. Big inhale, big exhale. Feel that lock in your belly and notice if you lose that lock during practice to maybe come back to this posture to find it again. Next breath in, step your hands forward and straighten your legs for a high plank. Stay with me. Puff up through your shoulder blades, long through your spine. Breathe. Step your hands back and come back into that elevated table. Breathe. Walk back out to that high plank and pause. A breath in. Slow count of five. We're going to lower all the way to our belly. Five. Bending at your elbows for four. Take your time for three two and one as you release untuck your toes go ahead and cactus out your arms like you're creating goalposts on your next inhale lift your chest lift your palms and lift your feet a variation of locust pose think about squeezing those inner thighs together breathe here one more inhale exhale to lower down Slide your palms back underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes back under. Use your strength to press up to a high plank. Downward facing dog, hips up and back. Woo, that was a good way to start class. Already feeling that burn. Pedal out through your knees and feet up and down on your toes. 
Find some space here, any rituals you have, and then sink into stillness. Sending your tailbone towards the sky, weight towards your heels, and spreading long through the fingertips. Breathe. Next breath in, go ahead and look at your fingertips and on your exhale, journey your feet all the way to the top of your mat. We're gonna find a rag doll just for a moment. Hang heavy, bend your knees and sway. Allowing your head and neck to release some tension. Anything you're holding onto, let it drip off onto the mat. Release those fingertips down. Toe heel your feet to touch. Slow roll up on your inhale. We come all the way to a mountain pose. Reach your arms high and gaze up. You're going to grab your right wrist with your left hand and step that right foot back and over. Pull the right wrist and open up through your right side body. Gaze up. Take a breath in. Exhale, come back to center, slide your palms together at your heart space, take a gentle bow. Let's take the other side. Grab the left wrist, step the left leg over and back and pull it open for length. Exhale, palms to touch, come back to center. Next, inhale, mountain pose, root to rise. Exhale for a forward fold, swan dive, hinge at the hips, pull your forehead towards your shins. Inhale for a halfway lift. Exhale for a high plank, step it back and pause, charge up. From here you're going to shift on top of your toes, lower about halfway down, pause. Inhale to press back up and spin onto your right side foot, right palm, and lift your left arm up. Reach up and gaze up. Find strength through the obliques. Another inhale. Exhale, lower that left palm. Come down halfway. Inhale, press into that right palm. Lift it up. Side plank to the right. One more breath in. Exhale to lower halfway. Pause and hold for three. Hips are lifted. Two and one. Up dog on your inhale. Shine your heart forward. Engage through those quads. Down dog on your exhale. Hips up and back. Two breaths here. We'll go through that one more time, breath to movement. Inhale, gaze at your fingertips, bend into your knees and on your exhale, step, hop or float to the top of your mat. A breath in lifts you halfway, fingertips to shins, long through your spine. A breath out to fold. Inhale, for mountain pose, reach up and rise up. Go ahead and grab that right wrist and step your right foot back to stretch. Exhale, hands pull to your heart. Inhale, grab the left wrist, step back, left foot, stretch. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale for mountain. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, lower halfway. On your breath in, pop open to that side plank. On your breath out, lower halfway. Inhale, pop open to the right. Exhale, lower halfway. Pause, three, two, one. Slowly open up, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Two breaths. Next breath in, look at those fingertips. Exhale, journey to the top of your mat. Surya Namaskar B, coming next. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale to fold. Utkatasana, chair pose. Sit low and reach your arms high. Here we go, we're gonna sink deep into those heels. A gentle tuck of your tailbone and reaching your biceps by your ears, gaze up slightly. Sitting slowly and deep into this chair pose, really feeling your quads turn on. Another breath in. Exhale, pull your palms to your heart. Take your time, press those palms together, and then start to twist to the right, hooking your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Exaggerate the twist by using leverage in the left elbow and keep your knees towards one another here. Breathe. Breathe. 
good. Stay here. Slowly bend into that left leg, bringing your left heel to your left glute. Take your time as you slowly step it back, coming into a revolved crescent lunge. Stay rooted in your feet. If this is too much, come on down to that back knee. That's a perfect place to be here. Get nice and strong. On your next breath in, you're going to turn towards the left as you straighten your right leg. Reach your right arm up and back and your left fingertips come to your left knee for a reverse triangle. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down to the earth. Step your left foot up to meet the right forward fold. Halfway lift from here. Exhale to fold. Here we go. Second round chair pose. Sit low, reach up. Exhale, sit a little lower. Use your breath. Keep your focus. Another breath in. Exhale, slowly press your palms to twist to the left. Right elbow hooks to the outside of that left knee. Resist the urge to move fast. Okay, find those isometric holds, those little micro movements that make it harder. The more difficult, the more transformation here. Slowly send your weight into that left foot as you bend into the right knee. Stay low, use your strength to slowly shoot it back and land, revolve, crescent lunge. One more breath in. One more breath out. Reverse triangle, open up to the right, slide the right heel down, cartwheel the left arm up, right arm back. Feel that expansion after all of that compression in the left hip. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down, high plank. Lower down halfway here and pause. Inhale, back up to your high plank. Exhale, come down to your forearms. Finding an isometric hold, hips even out with the shoulders. Breathe here. Let's lift our right toes up off of the ground. Hold it. Pull the right knee to your right tricep. Hold it. Inhale to send it back. Exhale, set the toes down. Let's take the left toes up. You guys got this, stay with me. Left knee to your left tricep. Send it back and down. Hold it with me. One more inhale. One more exhale. Slowly lower your hips. Lift your chest for Sphinx pose. <sighs> A little moment here of breath. A little decompression. Maybe you drop your left ear to your left shoulder, chin to chest. Right ear, right shoulder, chin to chest. Meet me in center, tuck your toes under. Using that core engagement, lift up to that forearm plank, press up to your high plank. Optional vinyasa, take your flow. Downward facing dog. Two breaths. Good, toes to touch here, inhale, send your right heel high. Pause right here, hold it, even out through your hips. Get really, really strong. And then work to reach your left fingertips to your left hip. Reaching all the way back, hold it right there. Find a nice balance, use your breath. For three, for two, and one, set the left hand down, pull your right knee to your nose, tiger pose, give it a little tap. Hold it. Lift up a little bit more. Inhale, send it back up. Exhale, pull your knee to your nose and then step it in between your hands. From here, root down into your feet. And on your inhale, rise up and reach up. Crescent lunge on Janayasana. Shift that left hip forward, take a breath in, and then exhale to come into a double lunge. So bending into both knees 90 degrees, bring your palms by your sides and then push forward on your exhale. 
Pause right here. You're gonna drop that right arm down and back. Find a twist. Breathe. Stay low. One more. Beautiful. On your inhale, cartwheel open and land in a warrior two. Reach those arms wide and then bring your palms behind your head. Interlace your fingers. Open up through your elbows. Sink deep into the right knee. Take a breath in. Exhale, right elbow to your right knee. Crunch. Good. Inhale to come back out. Exhale to crunch. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Next breath in. Burst open to star pose. That is your release. Heels in, toes out. And then right into a horse squat. Cactus your arms and lift those heels. Woo! Hard to find your balance. That's okay. Sit lower. Breathe here. You got this. Heels lift a little higher. For three, two, one. Heels drop. Inhale to burst open. Turn your toes so that they're parallel. And then on your exhale, wrap your right arm underneath your left. Palms to touch for eagle arms. Lift those elbows on your breath in. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe here. Next inhale, keep your arms as they are. Start to rise up with a flat back as you shift your weight into your left knee. Coming into a warrior three with eagle arms, lift the back heel. Keep your arms bound. Hold it right here. Big breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Tuck the right knee into the left, hold it. Maybe you bring the elbow and the knees to connect. Stay with me. Use that breath, let it burn, baby. Next inhale, press into the left leg. Lift that right knee high. Finding eagle pose, wrap the right ankle over that left calf and sink low. Hold it here. Breathe. Stack those shoulders over your hips, elbows in line with the shoulders. Press. Slowly unravel, feet meet, arms reach. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, step it back and pause. Stay right here, breathe. One more inhale, exhale to flow. Lower down halfway, slowly. Up dog on your inhale, down dog on your exhale. Pause, regroup. Toes to touch, inhale, send your left leg high. Hang out right here or start to reach your right hand back to your right hip. Finding that balance. It's okay to shake, I know I am. Use that core engagement. One more breath in. Exhale, right palm gently plants as you tiger pose it out, left knee to your nose. Lift it up a little higher. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, step it through. Gain strength on your breath in. Inhale, crescent lunge. Rise up. Pause. Find a lot of depth in that left knee, guys. Another breath in. Exhale, double lunge. Palms by your sides and push. Pause here. Can you get that right knee two inches off of the ground as you open up to the left? Stay low. One more breath in, one more breath out. On your inhale, warrior two, slide the right heel open and land it. Keep the strength in that left leg. I know it's tired, interlace your fingers behind your head, a breath in, exhale to tap. Two more, inhale, 
exhale, squeeze the obliques. Inhale, exhale. Next inhale, rise up and reach up. And exhale, horse squat, get low. This time, just lifting that left heel. Bringing your left forearm to your left leg and reaching your right arm up and over. If you want more, both arms reach. Hold it. Tap in. One more inhale. Exhale, hands to heart, left heel down. Stay low in the legs, lift that right heel. Right forearm to the right shin, reach your left arm up, or both arms reach as far as you can. It should be burning, if not, get lower, lift the heel more, breathe deeper. One more inhale, exhale, horse squat, stay with me. Hold it, tap in. Inhale, open up. Ah, exhale, <laughs> find your eagle arms, left arm underneath the right, toes turn in so that they're parallel, big breath in, exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale to rise up with those eagle arms. Turn towards the back of your mat, bending into the right knee, coming into warrior three, lift the left heel. Keep your arms bound. One more inhale. Exhale, Shiva squat, knees and elbows touch. Hold it. Next inhale, stand up, reach that left heel up. Exhale for that eagle pose, get low. Take a breath in, exhale to release, inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, slowly sit all the way down and then come into canoe, a low boat, a hollow hold of sorts Heels lifted, chest lifted. Full breath in, full breath out. Inhale, V up, right hand touches the outside of your left ankle. Exhale, down. Inhale, right, left, down. And both, tap, down. Opposite, right, left, both. One more, right, left, both. Hold the hollow right here. Stay with me. I'm right here with you guys. I promise I've done this whole thing with you. No breaks. Stay with me. Take a break if you need it and then get right back up. One more. Exhale, release down, knees into your chest. <sighs> Amazing work, my friends. Lower those heels down a few inches away from your glutes and then lift your hips high for a nice big back bend. Try to squeeze the hamstrings a little more than the glutes here. One more inhale. Exhale, let it go. Lower down. From here, you're going to cross that right knee directly over the left knee and pull both knees in towards your heart. So it's like you're sitting cross-legged. and Grab the outside edges of your feet. Pull your heels towards your hips. Finding a shoelace pose. Slowly lower that left foot down and keep the right knee crossed over. You're just gonna pick your hips up and bump them over to the right as you drop your knees to the left, opening up your right arm, finding a twist.
move back through center. Let's swap out sides. Left knee crosses over the right. Grab the outside edges of your feet, heels or ankles, and then pull them towards you. You're gonna feel this in the outer hips. Maybe you close your eyes here for the remainder of class. Slowly release that bottom foot. Bump your hips to the left, open up through your left arm and twist towards the right. We'll come back to center, my friends. If there's any last postures you need, take them. If you're ready to move into your final resting pose, give yourself a big hug, a big squeeze, forehead to knees on your breath in. Exhale, Shavasana, legs long, palms by your sides. Close your eyes. Melt into surrender and let your body receive all of that strength we just built. Start to deepen your breathing here. And if you're ready to move back into your day, start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Maybe take some wiggles of your head left to right. We'll take a big full body stretch for an inhale. And then on your exhale, roll into a fetal position and then into an easy seat. As we slowly bring our palms together at our heart center, we end in gratitude for our bodies, for our strength, and for this practice. As always, it's been my honor to guide you today. Make sure to subscribe, drop a comment. We can connect on Instagram at Kirsty Page. Otherwise, I'll see you next time on your map. Namaste.